Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and today we're going to run a bit of an experiment. I'm filming today uh, from the shop. It's Saturday the 6th of January. Before I go any further, I want to give a big shout out to Dorothy. Yes, baby doll. Um, it's her birthday today, um, so give her a big shout out. She's been um, a supporter or follower um, since the very beginning. Uh, she's been very kind with some of her comments and that's so why she deserves a nice shout out. So happy birthday love, hope you get spoiled. Anyway, moving on. Um, today's video, as I've just said already, is an experiment. Now, let me give you an example of what's gonna happen. Basically, you saw the other week, I bought this magnificent early miner's lamp. This is an original one from the colliery, just a few hundred yards down the road that belonged to the same um, mine that the mine boss owned my house. So I decided to keep this one. However, what we have now is a very similar period miner's lamp. Um, I haven't researched the colliery yet, but look at the difference of these two. One is caked thick with rust all over. Um, and I mean thickly caked with rust and the other is immaculate. Now, as a rule, I don't clean metal away, um, as you know. I leave metal away for the buyer to decide what they want to do. Copper, brass, everything, I don't clean it. <coughs> Some people love this beautiful, shiny, bright look, but as far as I'm concerned, it devalues antiques um, when you strip the patina off. If you want it to look brand new, go out and buy new. However, this lamp, I've had it up for sale for a while and I can't sell it because as far as people are concerned, it's too rusty, too far gone. So, what's my options? Keep holding out in the hope that somebody buys it and drop the price or see if I can turn it like the other one. Now, what I intend to do with this one is I'm gonna put it in a dip. Um, we're gonna go back to it throughout the day and see what happens. Um, I'm expecting it's going to take a few days, but I, this video is going to be spread out through little intervals throughout the day And then I'll show you the difference of the lamp at the end of the day And then maybe in about three days because it's going to take probably three or four days to eat all this rust off um, In about three days what I'll do I'll clean the lamp up and I'll just add it on to another video when I do another video So I want you to have a really good look at this lamp now. Uh, it is minging with rust Really really bogging I'm being funny, the state on it. It's an early lamp, it's uh, number 1338 574 Colliery A. So that could be Aberdeen, could be anywhere. So I have to do some research on that one. But it is really, really bogging. So we're going to give it a good clean. And we're going to see if we can remove rust without damaging the actual light dump. Interested? Me too. It's my first attempt at this, guys. I don't know what the result is going to be. Um, now, there's plenty of people online who have videos saying how to remove rust from metal and things like that. And the most, well, the easiest one for me, what I can see to try first, is very simple. Are you ready? Simple malt vinegar. Well, say malt vinegar. It could have been white vinegar. I don't know. They just said vinegar. Um, so we're going to try malt vinegar because this stuff is like 20 pence a bottle. Um, seriously, seriously cheap. So I bought 10 bottles. So that's two quid. I'm going to pour them into a bowl in a minute and just submerge this lamp into the bowl and forget about it all day but I want I'll go back and forth and I'll do little snippets for you all day to see it as it's coming show you it at the end of the day see if there's any improvement and then as I say I'll give you an update on it in about three days if it's eating the rust but I've seen a couple of videos where they've submerged sheet metal and things in vinegar and it has eaten the rust off in and started to be honest with you within hours so fingers crossed that this will be a perfect little fix for this and double the value. But 
don't go cleaning your brass and your copper and things like that unless you have no other option guys coins, brass, cut metal, nothing, don't clean any of it the only thing you clean is silver other than that, leave it to the uh, buyers the only reason I'm doing this as I've said is because I can't sell it as it is it's just too far gone for people around you to buy so we're going to see and of course it's a good experiment anyway bit of fun I love playing with um, yeah, bit of science so I'll give you regular updates so let's go pour up Fill up the bowl and sink it in. Okay guys, so I got a simple blue plastic bowl and lots of vinegars. So it is nothing else in the bowl. Now maybe a little bit of dirt, but uh, hey ho. Uh, it'll take me forever to get them out with I don't want a hole. This ain't fish and chips. Uh, so in my caveman style, just remove the cap and pour. I'll be wanting fish and chips all day, no smelling this vinegar, and that ain't gonna help my diet. That's one now. Look at this, guys. That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna unscrew the lamp and I'm gonna submerge the lamp because I'm only gonna use whatever I need. Now, if it doesn't take all of them, if I cover it, then so be it. And Take a look, that's all I've done is just place it into the bowl with the vinegar and we're going to see what happens. If anything. Maybe malt vinegar won't work and I might have to try again with white vinegar. I don't know guys, I really don't. I tell you what isn't going to work. Obviously one of the kids have left their drink in the bag. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> it won't be putting that in with the thing. We're looking for the acid. Looking good, looking good. Halfway there. Halfway out of the darkness. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna lose that one. This is probably gonna stink my shop out with vinegar, guys, for the next uh, few days, but you know what? I generally just don't care. We make everybody hungry who comes in the shop. But some of these, I tell you what, they're almost childproof. God help me, huh? We're getting somewhere, guys. We are. It's halfway there. Hey, it's supposed to be intending, eh? I've only brought seven with me. Oops. So, looks like I'm only using seven, guys. I'll have to just roll it about. If it doesn't cover it totally, because I'm not putting any water in, I don't want to dilute it. That's my lunch. Right, it's not going to fully submerge. Not going to be fully submerged, guys. I'm about three short. I may send Sandra over to Asda, uh, Asda, Iceland in a bit. So, would you like to have a little look see now in the bowl? As you can see, it's not quite submerged. However, we will just continually today roll it up. Look at that. Already? That's quite quick. I think it'll work, guys. So, on me please. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to put this in the back room for three hours. No, maybe two. Yeah, I'll check in two hours, give it a little look, give it a rub, <laughs> see if any rust comes off. Then we'll go back in another two hours and have a look how it looks then, because then I'm shutting up shop. I shut today at one o'clock, Christmas hours are finished. Uh, so one o'clock today I'll be closed and what I will do 
is I'm just going to leave this submerged. Um, then, because I'm not open tomorrow, so I'm going to leave it submerged and Monday or Tuesday when I check it, then hopefully it'll be good. And I tell you what I might do, if I'm clever enough, let me have a look. I am. It'll go side on, so I'm just going to, there we go, and it's fully submerged, guys. So I'm going to prop up one side of the bowl and have it like so, and the whole thing will be submerged. So it didn't take me long to figure out the solution to the problem. So there we have it. We'll see the results soon enough. Bye for now, guys. Okay, guys, so it's um, been three hours. I've been a bit busy, so I didn't get back to it. Um, so let's have a little look now together. Look at that. Already, it's just literally. This is after just three hours. It's obviously going to strip all the patina back, but then what I'll do, I'll clean it manually and wax it. Uh, but you can see all the rust coming straight off, and it's just too far gone as it is. So, again, all the rust on the top is coming off in my hands. How, um, how good it'll be, how effective it's going to be at removing it all, I don't know. But this is starting to get back to basic metal. I don't know if you can see with the lighting in here. It's actually starting to eat back into the metal, back to the metal. And obviously stripping all the copper and brass. So. It's going to look like a new lamp when it's finished, guys. The only downside is, obviously, I prefer the patina. But we're going to check in a few days. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to look at it again now. Um, you can see it's already eaten into all the dirt and grime and the surface rust. Whether it gets deep into the uh, rust, I don't know. I will let you know in a vlog next week. Um, seems to be cleaning. Uh, it's coming off. Uh, the rust is coming off, guys. So, as you can see, you can take a look there, just give her a quick wipe, all the rust is coming off. But I think it's going to take a long time to eat in because this is really, really well and truly rusted solid. So, we'll see how it goes, I'm going to leave it now, and i tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this video until the conclusion, so you'll get to see the result, I won't just give you an update next week, what I'll do. I'll save what video I've made now and I will add to it when I come back on Monday I will look in here wash the lamp down uh, rub the lamp over give it a little wax well probably won't give it a wax Monday I haven't done wax but I'll wash the lamp down dry it and give you a look at the lamp after it's been a day and a half to two days in the vinegar and we'll see if it was a success or a failure guys so fingers crossed, so I'll leave it go now and I'll see you in two days. Good morning guys, it's um, Monday morning now. So the lamp has been in the vinegar for a few days now, all weekend. Um, I did check it a few times throughout the day and it was very little improvement. Um, it took the initial surface rust off but all this deep in rusted up and touched so it's been in there for a few days so I'm gonna have a look now and see if it's done anything or whether this malt vinegar is a waste of time if it is the next experiment we have we gonna have to try white vinegar but let's see what the results are for this test now okay so here's the malt vinegar in the lamp it's, as you can see it's quite sludgy so it has taken some of it off um, as for eating well into the rust, well, to be totally honest with you, it hasn't done that good a job. Still very, very deep caked with rust. It's cleaned the copper up and the brass up beautifully, but uh, this tin really hasn't eaten that well into the rust, guys, as far as I wanted. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash it all off now and we'll have a look at it clean. 
Okay guys, so to say this experiment was a total failure would be wrong. As you can see, it has actually eaten into the surface rust quite considerably. So we can get a better light here. So, it has made a difference because this was thickly caked with rust guys. I don't know if you could see how bad it was. Um, and it has actually been eaten into the rust. So potentially, if I left it in there for a lot longer, then it may clean up better. However, you saw the state that vinegar have turned to sludge. And even though this has made a difference on the rust, um, what can I say? I'm not totally happy with how it was going, so I'm going to class the experiment not as a total failure, but not as a success either. But right, what I am going to do now, I'm going to buy white vinegar and dip it in white vinegar, see if there's a difference between malt vinegar and white vinegar on the cleaning of the rust. There we have it guys. Was that a success or was it a failure? I'm not 100%. Can an experiment be a failure? Not really, because we're learning something. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying on YouTube, oh yeah, dip it in this, dip it in that, and it'll clean it up. And then I read the comments and they're all saying, but it don't work for me. Well, what you're having here is an honest representation. That is an actual antique that we're likely to buy and need to clean, as I do. Um, and quite clearly, the malt vinegar didn't do the job. So the next step for me will be buy a gallon of white vinegar now, see if that's more potent at eating the rust and that'll be another video I'll try out now in the next week or so because I want to get this lamp cleaned up and get it sold. Um, whether the videos are a success or fail, I will post them and we'll see. If, and if I end up ruining the miner's lamp, I'll sell it down the car boot sale uh, for 10 or 15 pound and get my money back on there. But it was too far gone guys, right? I'm not doing this with something that should have been left as it was. It was caked with rust. So in all honesty, maybe it was too much rust for the vinegar. Because um, as you could clearly see, there was an improvement where it has eaten quite a bit of the rust. So I don't know. Use your own judgment. Personally, I weren't happy to leave her in there another few days. Um, it, it hadn't done enough to justify to me. All I've done is take the surface rust off and to be honest so I could have soaked it in bleach or hot soapy water or anything like that to soften up the surface rust probably. So to me it's a waste of time. It wasn't a successful experiment even though it has made some improvements. But an interesting experiment nonetheless. We'll see what's left to try to clean up this miner's lamp. So for now guys, I'll say thank you very much for watching, hope you've enjoyed uh, the experiment. Hope you've learned something, because I know I have. Don't bother wasting the malt vinegar on my mine's lamp, put it on my chips instead. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave it there guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and leave me a comment, let me know you've subscribed guys. Um, for everybody who's already subscribed, thank you very much. You'll find me on Facebook, I have a page on the group Antiques Arena. You find me on my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com, or you can come to the shop and see me, and that is in the United Kingdom, guys, South Wales, and it is in Mountain Ash, 78 Oxford Street, Charlie Fox Road, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.